And here's the beginning of video three. Okay, I'm going to rewind a little bit. And to start this thing, you need the propane valve here, which I just use the coal, just regular old propane. And then this little valve I got from DreamWorks RC that has a special fitting on it and a little line that goes right down into the valve, the pesto fitting that goes to the start valve for the propane. So what you would do to start this thing is you would first open this up all the way. Then you would open up your fuel valve. That makes it, you want it to be going parallel with the line. And now it's ready to start. So you've got the lights, your throttle is at idle, your trim is all the way up, and that will get you the lights here. And then all you have to do to start it is take the throttle all the way up, and then back to idle, and it will start the start cycle and it'll do its own thing. Once it gets to, to stable idle, you'll simply close this, disconnect it just by pushing in, and then it'll disconnect, move that out of the way. It will ask you to say learn, it will say learn high. So you will bring the throttle all the way up to high, let it sit there for a minute, and then the learn high display will turn, will go back to normal. Then you can bring it back down to idle. That tells it, that makes sure it knows where high RPM is, so that's good. Um, and that's it, and to shut it down, you would just bring the throttle to idle, bring your trim all the way down, and you'll watch the lights go out. See? And it says off RC, or RC off. That means you turn it off. And now all this stuff will be explained in the manual. That's really all you have to do. Occasionally on the front of the motor, there's an O-ring that engages the starter. Sometimes those O-rings will wear out over time, and then you can get a new one from JetCat. It's just an easy replacement. That's about it. Um, use uh, kerosene or jet fuel and put in one quart to five gallons of jet fuel. One quart of BP 2380 um, turbine oil or the shell, either way. You put in one quart to five gallons and that's it. Okay, I'm gonna make that the end of uh, video three.